and this is how my week went. Hey guys, so I'm just leaving my student work and I just went to my first group yoga class here. I've been yoga before, but it was vinyasa yoga and it's really just to like focus on you time and getting lifted. And I really like it, so I'm gonna go back and right now I'm gonna head to Starbucks. I'll show you what I get. school right now. There is much traffic. Uh, it's gonna be a good day. I just jumped on the scale this morning. Not that the scale is everything, but I'm officially out of 220s. I am pumped. This weekend, I know I, I said in my video from last Friday, I was gonna probably drink wine and have pizza or whatever. Like, I, I don't regret that at all. But uh, it definitely takes a little bit of reco recovery time. I was able to get my weight back down. Obviously, it was probably a lot of water because I don't like that all the time. And I can't wait to see if I keep losing until Friday. Uh, if I could lose two pounds this week from last weigh in, that would be amazing. Uh, I'm really happy with this progress. It may not seem like a lot right now because I feel like in these next 10 pounds I'm gonna start seeing more physical changes um, but I just have to remind myself about how far I've come and it, it's just it's actually changing. Okay, so yeah I just wanted to pop in here and talk to you guys because I'm very happy with how I'm doing and it's okay to like I don't know feel good about your little victory. So yeah, I will see you over here at lunch. drug into playing for an Oktoberfest this weekend so I'm gonna be playing the tuba with a bunch of old German men in in Lederhosen surrounded by beer and good German food the ultimate test <laughs> hello thank you for tuning back in I hope you enjoyed some of those snapshots of my week you got to see how I use some of my groceries from my past video which if you haven't seen my healthy grocery haul go check that out I hope you're liking these little videos of my week. They're definitely a very nice creative outlet for me to have besides all the other creative things that are supposed to be happen happening in the life of a music major. Yeah, let's just get right down to it. Results for this week. This week, I lost four pounds. Four pounds. I guess it kind of makes up for last week <laughs> so I lost four pounds I lost 0.9% body fat so almost 1% 0.9% and I gained 0.4% muscle mass yeah I am super happy with that result um, this week I was very strict when it came to my food not strict in a bad way but I didn't cheat at all cheat and um, yeah, I just ate foods that fueled my body well and filled me up, made me feel good, and I don't know, I, I feel pretty awesome. So with those results, that means from my highest weight, which I checked back in my fitness pal, and that was in May, my highest weight was 239. I now weigh 216.4, so that would be a 
23 pound loss. So with that loss, that means from the start of this journey, I was at 232, I am now at 216.4. I have lost almost 20 pounds, 16 pounds. So yeah, this week I thought um, the meals that I prepared were really good and I did yoga once this week. I was only able to get the class once. I had some conflicts with the other time slots, but I definitely want to try to make time for that next week. And I went to the gym once and I did T25 once. So I had three workouts this week. And on Wednesday, actually, I was able to, well, it was more kind of thrust upon me that I had to conduct our tuba euphonium ensemble because our professor is going to be a little bit late so he was like hey i'm sending the score you rehearse this so i did and it was super fun and just like a glimpse into what could be one day it made me so happy uh yeah that was awesome afterwards i got this little notification it was like you're close to your exercise goal from fitbit and so it must have logged my conducting as an aerobic exercise and i was like wow must have really been getting into that march. I have been writing down a few things that I wanted to talk about in this little book that I have. So the biggest thing I wanted to talk about that I really committed myself to this week is intermittent fasting. Now when you hear intermittent fasting you probably mostly hear fasting and you're like oh not eating that's bad. It's actually not. It's very healthy for you and a lot of people do it without even knowing it. So what is intermittent fasting? It's basically just a schedule of eating. It doesn't tell you what you can eat, it just tells you when to eat. So the most common split of intermittent fasting that people do is a 16-8 split. So you fast for 16 hours and you have an eight hour eating window. And in that window, you can eat all of your calories for the day. So what's cool about this is that those 16 hours where you're fasting, it counts while you're sleeping. So if you sleep eight hours a night, that's already eight hours that you, you've taken care of your fast. For my lifestyle and my schedule as a student, this really works for me because there are some days where I can eat like maybe around 10. There are some days where I put it off until two. And so I just either shrink my eating window or expand it to whatever I need it to be but I always make sure to probably get about 14 hours of fasting in. And so the purpose of this is whenever you eat something, your insulin spikes. And when your insulin spikes, your body is unable to burn fat. I'm not a scientist, but I have researched this a lot and it's such an easy thing to do and it totally works for me. So whenever that happens, your body can't burn fat and it only burns the calories that you've just consumed. So if you switch to this pattern of eating and say you only eat within that eight hour window, after that, it's supposedly like six hours after you have your last whatever calories, it takes your body about six hours to use those up. And then after those six hours or roughly whatever it is, depends on how much you eat, of course, um, your body can then turn to burning the fat that's on your body, if that makes sense. If I confuse, confuse that explanation in any way, I'm very sorry. But it works for me, especially because I really am not a breakfast person. I love breakfast food, but not really early in the morning. So uh, I'm fine with getting up and only having a coffee or a kombucha or whatever until my lunchtime. On your fast, you are allowed to have about 40 calories. And with those 40 calories, I can have a coffee with some of my creamer or I can have half of a bottle of kombucha, whatever I want until it's going to be lunch. And because your window of eating is shrunk, shrunk, because your window of eating is smaller, uh, it allows you to kind of eat bigger meals at once rather than a bunch of small meals throughout the day. I know a lot of people um, <clears throat> advocate for kind of having breakfast and then having a snack and then having lunch and then having a snack and then having dinner and then having a snack or kind of that idea of like five or six tiny meals a day. That's just really not what I prefer to do. I don't want to have to be constantly reaching for something. I really enjoy just making a large meal and being satiated and then knowing that okay maybe at four o'clock I'm gonna have my dinner and then I'll be done eating by six or whatever. I mean 
you can change it to however it fits your lifestyle. And yeah, it, it makes me feel great. So usually this works perfectly for me, but sometimes I get pretty hungry by the time it, it comes to break my fast. And so I'll be super hungry, make a huge lunch, and then I'll like start eating really fast. So something I've been making myself more conscious of lately is just chilling out and eating slowly. So one thing that I really challenge myself to do is I'll take a bite of food, chew it up completely, and I won't prepare the next bite on my fork or spoon or whatever until I'm done and have swallowed what's in my mouth. Because I know probably a lot of you out there also scoop up a food, put it in your mouth, chewing, but you're also getting that next spoonful ready already, and you might not have even swallowed what's in your mouth before you keep shoveling it in. <laughs> it's terrible, but being conscious of chewing and actually becoming full really helps uh, just your mental state when it comes to consuming calories, I guess. I don't know. Okay. I also mentioned this in my grocery haul, and if my sister's watching this, she would really appreciate some open convo about BMs. My digestion has been so much better ever since I got back on the lemon water and kombucha train, and like I said in the morning, I'll just take a liter, I have this cute, huge mason jar, and I'll just fill it with water and put a uh, half of a lemon in that, take it in, and I'll drink the whole thing while I'm getting ready in the morning. And it's just a nice thing to do in the morning. If you can get into a routine with these things, it makes it so much easier. Well, this week I've also seen a lot of non-scale victories, like I could wear jeans this week. I love clothes. I have so many clothes and I cannot wait to start wearing them again to be able to actually fit into them is gonna be great. I'm also gonna post um, some before and after pictures of me at 2.32 and me next. Let's hear about my measurements. Okay, so I wrote down these measurements at the beginning of September. I even have it dated September 1st. It is now September 29th. I measured a lot of things, so just bear with me. Stomach, I lost one inch in a month, one inch, it's fine, it's fine. Uh, waist, the smallest part of my waist, I lost two inches. Uh, around my butt, I lost one inch. My left thigh, I lost two inches. My right thigh, I lost uh, three quarters of an inch, wow. Uh, around my chest, I lost three inches. Uh, left bicep, I lost one point to five inches. Right bicep, I lost 0.75 inches. And around my neck, I lost one and three quarters of an inch. So yeah, you can definitely tell in my face a difference between then and now. And by just eating good food, you wouldn't believe how much just lighter and not bloated and good you feel. So guys I hope that these are like encouraging videos and not just looking at it and be like I can't do that ever because this week was seriously so easy to eat right and I don't mean that in like a Haha, I can do anything way I mean it in a way like when you see how it makes you feel and the good things that you're doing for your body it's easy to make those decisions to just eat healthy and take care of yourself so set aside some time to like get you some healthy groceries and have options and be able to just make those good decisions. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching and for all the comments and if you haven't already, please subscribe and like this video and check out my other ones. And yeah, so here's to a good week.